Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Thanksgiving Thursday, 28th of November here. We had some news last night. Trumpy um, signed this bill. Um, kind of kicking China in the balls. And equities and risk turned a bit. Uh, equities, let's pull that chart up down 14 handles on the news you can see it here midnight Swiss time um, we traded from basically 3155 down to 3141 now we're sitting here at 44 below 4175 on the day is bearish engulfing something to watch um, many ways you can think about this uh, but the main thing you have to decide is whether this is going to be some sort of escalation um, and what is China how is China going to respond is this going to be uh, some sort of psychological warfare or are they gonna or are they gonna eat their humble pie my guess is uh, China doesn't eat humble pie too regularly so I think this is going to escalate a bit and this is going to piss off China they've said it already in some of their responses but one of the underlying themes of doing business with this part of the world is you always want to give um, the guy sitting across from you across the table from you the ability to save face face is massively important when doing business uh, with Asia this is the opposite of that this is just a kick in the balls um, it's kind of an F you so I expect some retaliation. I expect uh, this to escalate with perhaps, I don't know, some sort of walkout or cancellation or postponement of meetings. So yes, we do think um, there is some further risk off here. How do you express this? If you're tired of shorting S&Ps, uh, which a lot of us are, you can look at Aussie Yen. Uh, which moved from 20 all the way down to 90. Now we're back at 02, very similar chart. Um, this trend line we've been talking about here comes in at 80 today. So this upward sloping trend could be a change in trend today. If you have a daily close below 80, that will also be very close to a, a bearish engulfing. This makes sense also because Aussie's now through this triple bottom here, 67, 67. Um, again, this Chinese news pushed it here, and now we're just kind of sitting here. There's no drama. Um, we're at a low volume Thanksgiving type of tra type of trade. Certainly, in the S and P's uh, on the minis in the Globex system, there's going to be reduced volume today. So you got to be real careful with this. Um, America's not playing today. They're enjoying um, a lot of people's favorite holiday in America. So this is part of the puzzle. Uh, how real is this and how much volume is going to be put through today? Something to watch and continue to think about. As far as Euro is concerned, we now have sort of a little triple bottom here, 93 the low yesterday, uh, or 92, sorry. Through 90 now looks interesting. Uh, I don't know what's going to drive it. We do have German inflation today. We're neutral here on Euro. Long term, we're bullish Euro, we're bearish dollars. But short term, uh, this looks like this wants to trade. Um, so we're keeping a close eye on this level 109.90 we will pull the trigger on shorts through 90 in a very uh, risk managed tightly risk managed fashion try and tactically make some money between 90 and 60 see what the story looks like um, if we get down there and then if we turn we'll start comfortably getting back long again if we can get through this uh, 110.30 area so right here, we're, even though our, our story in our head is to be short dollars and long euros, uh, the tactical story today is the opposite. And there is probably some money to be made uh, if we get through 90. So watching, watching that level closely. We 
talked about all the offers here at, at uh, parity in uh, dollar Swiss uh, our contention is they are still here same with euro Swiss at 110 we're not saying that this can't plow through these offers uh, especially if there's um, a big move in euro but we think if you want to be long dollars uh, against the euro it makes more sense than against the Swiss franc and against the yen just because we're worried about possible risk off uh, affecting this trade but be careful we do expect plenty of supply in dollar Swiss and in euro Swiss around these areas sterling we got the YouGov poll last night you can see this thing it was a bit a bit dicey right we've traded up to 20 and then we traded all the way down to 88 and then we've been back to 50 uh, not not 100% not sure what we're gonna do with this um, cable we're not really doing anything what we we do expect there to be some sort of downdraft getting closer to the election uh, some gaffe from Johnson or or something negative should happen uh, the longs just feel a little bit too comfortable right no real pain has been taken uh, on this trade and as most of you know uh, foreign exchange trading is about pain taking the pain so we are expecting some pain here we don't we don't have a dog in the fight right now but we will be watching closely um, with our bias being left hand side here uh, when the story gets right and or the timing is right what else is out here gold contract changing now um, so be careful we're we're not um, November gold is now out what do we do with gold we wait um, we do think uh, that there will be stops down below 45 that is for sure but we also think there's plenty of reasons to own gold here so it's very much like euro we will tactically attack this 45 level if we see it but otherwise our bias is to be core long gold for the longer term we don't have a gold position at the time but basically there's a lot of push and pull here you can make equal arguments on both sides of this um, so nothing to do with gold yet we'll be more comfortable if this thing gets back above um, 1480 not much else to say Thanksgiving we're going to be watching closely the Chinese headlines we're watching 109.90 in euro uh, and we're watching this Aussie yen chart uh, which is just it's just a pretty chart right and uh, might be a clean way to express your feelings on risk for those Americans who are listening to this, happy Thanksgiving. For the rest of you, have a good trading day ahead. Go ahead and make some money. You've been putting in the work. Trust yourself. You deserve it. Talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.